What's up guys, Sports Debunked here. We'll be doing our first YouTube video. We'll be doing a tier list strictly on strikers in their prime in the UFC. We got a nice list for you today. We're gonna make it real quick and uh, stay tuned for more videos on our YouTube channel. Let's get into it. All right. You wanna start in order? Yeah, let's start in order. Okay. So these are all the dudes like in their prime. So like I know half of these guys, some of these guys We got, some, right we got, now, we got so. Shevchenko and we got Manu. Yeah. We got women on here as well, but. All right, so we're starting with Max Holloway. So as a striker, we gotta I, go I, S. Gotta go S. But he's he's mainly boxing though, so like you ever when did you last time saw Max Holloway throw a high kick? I mean I know he knocked true, Volkanovski true. down with the high kick and I think in their second fight. Actually, yeah, S tier. S tier he's gotta S -tier, be S tier, bro. He has to be. Okay, moving on. Darren Till in his okay, prime. Now, in his prime, this is his striking was one of the best. His, his striking was great. I mean, he uh you know, against Against Woodley, didn't look too good. He yeah. lost his title fight. And after that, he got knocked out by Jorge Mazzaro. But before that, he beat Wonder Boy in a close fight. He uh, he knocked out Cowboy, I'm pretty sure. And I, I, him, like, I don't know B. about no. I got him like yeah, B tier. I'm going to go B tier. Like, bro, look at all these guys he, he has, got He has here. insane striking, but we only saw his prime for like, yeah. just such a little time, and he was very young. So I'm, I'm going to put him B tier as well. And, like, bro, not all the, all these guys, you can say, like, their strikes are amazing. So, like, we can't put them all at S. You yeah, know what I'm so, saying? Uh, we'll put them. I think B, B is fair. B is fair. B is fair. Okay. This is a B. <sighs> Man. His yeah, striking was fucking we missed, amazing. We missed out on this guy. Yeah. This guy, if he stayed in the UFC and active... Volkanovski will have some like real competition in featherweight right now. Yeah, and who knows what would happen if he would have fought in uh, if Zabit would have fought Max at that time because Max was champion. But Zabit, his wrestling was awesome. His jujitsu was awesome. He was pulling submissions and like knee bars and, like in a second fight. Striking is dope. Uh Aljo I, was saying it was he's the best striker he's yeah, ever I, seen. A, I, I think A is fair. A, just I was just, thinking B, just because like we didn't see just, too much. Yeah, of I it. mean, I think. Did yeah. we even see his prime? No. We probably okay. didn't even see his prime. I say we go B. I feel like if he stayed longer, he'd be we'd see more flashes. A, be S, A. a middle. Okay, okay, yeah. B is fair. We'll start at B. Piotr Jan, Jan. Probably the best boxer in the UFC right now. Maybe him and Max. Uh he throws a little more, I think, kicks and knees and whatnot and elbows than Max. But Max is just known for it. Yeah. Piotr Jan, like his striking is insane. Like I think he's borderline S tier, but I'm a roll a with A. Like like a top tier A guy. Yeah, I'll go A with you. And do you want to rank each guy within each of, like thing? Like what you, you put Zabit, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you put Jags okay, over I think, Darren, I think Zabit, you know what I'm saying? I think yeah, over Darren. Better than Darren Till, yeah. but they're both B. Yeah. Okay. Corey Sand hanging. A tier. He's got to be. A. He's yeah. got to be. A tier. Did you think he's better than Yan though? As a pure like as bro, a pure striker, he's, he's throwing everything. I mean, like, we've seen them fight, and we've seen, like, yeah, you're right. we've seen how their styles match up. So, I think we got to keep him at yeah, behind Yeah, behind, behind Okay. Yeah, you Rodriguez. I mean, he was going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Max. Yeah, he lost. I mean. True. Dude, how we looked against, like, uh, Jeremy Stevens. I, I was thinking S, but I think, I, about I, like, I think S is, like, the absolute yeah. peak of striking. Think of, like, the value of S. Yeah, so I think you toss him A, and I think you put him over these three. These him, two, yeah. Okay. I think you. I think you put him. Okay. I can't put him. Oh. There you go. Okay. All right. So Garbrandt, I mean, you, like we said, his prime is prime short. Is so short. He was fast. He was powerful, but as like a MMA striker, I go. I I'll go I, A behind everyone. I'll go actually B. Yeah, I'm in saying. Between. I'm saying B as well, dude. As a as a striker, like he had, like. You think his boxing was unbelievable, but like we're talking about overall striking, you know? So behind. I say yeah. I say right there is fair. All right, now we're on to Robert Whitaker. Uh, he's got to be A tier. Has to be. But I, I think you I put think, him in front of everyone. I think you put him in front of Sanhagen. So right after Peter Jan. Yeah. Right before Sanhagen. Because who, who besides Izzy hasn't lost that middleweight, right? True. And he went toe to toe with Yoramira twice. Close fights. His striking against Marvin Vittori was against like Vittori. STG. I mean against Cannoneer. Against Darren Till, like, he's got to be A tier. Yeah. And, like, you can make a real argument for S tier, but I'm going to go A tier as a striker. Wonderboy's S. 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 No, S. No, you need to talk about it. Put him in front of Max. In front of Max? Yeah, yeah. 100%. Wonderboy's S. Not, no, no doubt Wonderboy's S. Jose Aldo. It's crazy. He still has S tier striking right now. Yeah, he's, like, 40 I years know. old. But Okay, Jose Aldo. Oh, man, this is a tough one to rank. Prime, you got to put him S. And it's prime. 
Or A in front of everyone. I think it's A in front of everyone. A in front of everyone? Yeah. I think that's fair. Because in his prime, he was he was unbelievable. He was doing it all. You know, not just he wasn't just boxing. He was doing everything. And he was great. He was unbelievable in his prime. But Bro, I, I, already, when I When I think of S, I just think of, like, just the best, you know? Like the comments like, are going to be flaming us yeah, because, I, like... I just think S has to be, like, the best of the best of the best. True. And these guys, like... Like, I want to put Whitaker in S because... It, Adesanya, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I want to put, you know, Jose and S because, like, Max Holloway, you know? But I don't know. So you think this is perfect? I think perfect. A in front like, of everyone? Like, pushing S tier right at, right at A. Like, A++. Connor Prime. Mm. This is a tough one. Is he worthy for the S? Yeah, he has to be. In his prime? In his prime, he, he was unstoppable. He has to be in his... I mean... He has to be. There's yeah. no way he's not. Do you think he's people, in front people of really for, People really forget how good his striking was in his prime. How good he was, period, in his prime. Yeah, yeah I think above Max. Above Max behind Wonderboy? Yeah. I think Wonderboy's the best right now so yeah. far. I mean, bro, like, he's being everybody. Yeah. You know, like, in his prime, Eddie Alvarez, Jose Aldo, Max Holloway, Dustin Poirier, Chad Mendez, you know, Nate Diaz, up two weight classes, you know. I know he lost the first fight, but... It's, that's not that's not an easy fight. I feel like these three, the only reason why they're in B is because of how short yeah, like, their prime was. was. Yeah. Look, you wanna Nah, I can't do that. I was gonna say put there until like C, but like you can't. No, you can't. Okay. Dustin Poirier. He's in A, but I think where in A. I think A. I think he's in A because he's like he's like you know, he's like Purion. He's like these guys are just very good at boxing strictly. Yeah. And his is like elite of the elite. And he wins his fights with his boxing. So honestly, I I, I think you gotta put him above above Purion, realistically. So behind you right yeah, here? I think that's fair and I don't know, dude. This is like Yeah, right there. Seeing Corey like bro San I know, but he it's cause he beat, you know, Jan yeah. beat San Hey, but Whitaker, like I feel like he's better than Yan at striking too, but I, I don't know, dude. This is tough. This this tier list is actually tough as hell. This is hard, guys. It's hard because there's so many good guys. So many. Like how many fucking great guys? Are like there? like Yair Rodriguez is a, a wizard at striking. You know. Yeah. Uh, same thing with like those guys. Like like he's known strictly for just being different with his striking and just a lot better than most people on the feet. Yeah. But we haven't seen like the success of Dustin Poirier in his career. Like Dustin Poirier's success with his striking is way better than Yari Rodriguez, but he's only doing it like pretty much boxing. But, boxing, but at yeah. the end of the day, like it's it's he has to be right next to each other. So now we're on to the first. There's only two girls on here, but the first one, Valentina's S. S easy S. But do you put her in front of Max? Uh, or? I feel like she does everything. I, yeah, I think you put her in front of Max. Now, before people lose their mind, we're, we're talking about just strikers in general. Yeah. Just strikers in general. And, I mean, Shevchenko is the best female striker maybe ever. Like, realistically, maybe ever. Yeah. Like, I, I know Amanda Nunes has, like, power over her. She probably has more knockouts and stuff and finishes. But as a striker, I mean, she's got to be. She's one of the best female, if not the best female strikers. And she's in her prime right now. She's still, like, doing it. And, like, a six title the fight I mean six title defense win streak or whatever it is she's asked to she has to be yeah and I think that's perfect where that's she is. actually perfect right here alright now we're on to uh, game listen break. I, I'm on the record saying his striking is pretty overrated I genuinely feel like all he can do is if we're it is pretty overrated. He's tough to rank. He's tough to rank because his boxing is really good. His but, boxing is very good. But like, and he can throw a kick when he needs to. He he has like some of that like that crisp, clean, you know, elbows that he throws here and there. His kicks aren't too bad. His, he has a nice body kick. He's B tier in his prime. I think he's B tier. I think he's B tier, and I know he beat Darren Till, but is his striking like purely better than Darren Till's? I think you put him above uh, Garbrandt for sure. Mm -hmm. But I think. I don't know, dude. I'd put him above Darren Till. Put him above Darren Yeah, I'd put him above Darren Till. I don't yeah. think he's better than Zabi in strike-wise. No. Yeah. I don't think so. He's beat some very notable strikers in his in his time, but, like, like he went, like, toe-to-toe -to -toe with Wonderboy. It was a close fight. Wonderboy beat him. But, like, I don't know. I think I think right there is fine. That's fine? Yeah. All right, next up, Barboza. Yeah. S-tier. S -tier. S -tier. He has to be. Like, he has to be. As an MMA striker, not talking about, like, what he's really accomplished, just his like what he's done with his striking, like he, I think he's like one of the only fighters to have a, a head kick, a body kick, and a leg kick all Knock finishes. Up. Yeah, like ever. I think I could be wrong, but he's one of them. You think he's behind Max? He's I look. He's in front of Max. I think he's in. I think 
Bro, I think you're... He could be in front of Connor, low key. As a str as a pure MMA striker, Edson Barboza's he's ridiculous. Yeah, he's fucking crazy. I don't know. It's up to you. Tell me where you want to put him. Nah, bro. I think uh, he's definitely not the worst S tier. You know what I'm saying? Like strike wise. And I know a lot of people be like, you know, think about the recency stuff of him getting knocked out, knocked down by Bryce Mitchell and. But this, remember, remember, this is a, he's older in his career. He dropped down a weight class. It's harder weight cuts. In his prime, I mean, as a striker, probably put him right before Connor. I'd only have Connor higher just because, like, he was doing what Barboza was doing to people. Just yeah. in, like, higher caliber fights, in my opinion. Okay. Fazeev. Fazeev. Real, realistically, he should be S2. He's S, like, but, but like, we haven't seen so much yeah, of it young yet. career. And if we rated these guys the B tier, yeah, like. I, I think he's A. He, he's going to be S yeah. if he continues to be on the streak that he's on. But I think right now you got to rank him in A tier. B is too disrespectful for a guy like of, of his caliber. Uh, as a striker in that weight class, especially in 55, the hardest weight class, he just knocked out RDA in the fifth round. I think it was a left hook. Uh, he knocked him the fuck out, too. Ah, uh, man. I say uh, right behind Poirier. Right behind Poirier? Yeah. Right here? Yeah, I think that's fair. Boom, 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 boom. But see, now I'm looking at it. Now, like, if he's there... Then why is that year up there? Yeah. You know? Man, these lists are tough, bro. Uh we might let's we'll maybe we'll tweak we'll, it. At no, the we'll, end. Yeah, we're gonna but, go over but right it now. Uh, right. This is what I'm thinking. Is, is uh, pure, pure S uh, up there. I yeah. mean I, I said A, I'm yeah. at S. Pure S. Not yeah. even uh, we don't even need to talk much on it. Uh you could even argue him number one, but I'm not I think Wonder Boy. I think he is one. You think so? Actually, I think he is one, yeah, I bro. Think, he think is about one. what he was doing in as a champion. Yeah. yeah, he was yeah. taking every. He was. He, he didn't get touched as champ. Besides, uh, when Gaslam fought him, who else really touched up? Besides, obviously Alex Pereira. But that's it. Yeah, uh, is he S tier easily? Uh, TJ, TJ is prime A. He's definitely. I think A, a but lower A. Like right here. Uh, no, nah, I think he's uh, behind he, Sanhagen. You think he's the last one? Because Sanhagen lit him up, and yeah. I know it wasn't TJ in his absolute prime, but I think what made. Uh, TJ very good in striking was his rest, his threat of wrestling and takedowns, and it made his striking look more like uh, what's the word I'm looking for? More consistent. It looked more like it looked better because mm -hmm. people were always worried about a takedown because he has such amazing like wrestling. But his striking was very good. Like he lit up Hen and Burrell twice. Uh, he finished him both he beat fights too. Garbrandt knocked him out twice. I think here is reasonable. I think right there is perfect. Yeah, reasonable. Yeah. We're gonna be tweet. We gotta we'll, tweak at the it. end. We'll tweak it up a bit. John Jones S, S, but where do you want to put him? Uh, I striking think you, I wise, think you put him behind Wonder Boy. You think you put him right here? Mm -hmm. Now let, let's talk about this for like like a minute or two before people. Oh my god! Oh my god! John Jones not a good striker, guys. Like what is it? More than half his career is title fights. He's yeah. never lost in a title. He's never lost ever. Realistically, you know, he hasn't been knocked down ever. He hasn't been wobbled. Maybe ever. Maybe against Little Machida, people might think he got wobbled a bit or whatever. He hasn't been stunned. I don't think so. He has, I mean, that has to say, that has, has, the has, yeah, you yeah, have to say, said. like, his striking's excellent. Yeah. If he's never been knocked down, he's never been stunned, he's, you know, he's beating people on the feet. All the, You know, he beat, like, Gustafson pretty much on the feet. Gustafson's a great striker. Rashad Evans, he was throwing elbows at him. Shogun Hua lit him up with some body shots. Like, when you're finishing former champions and current champions with striking, you know, and especially in a higher weight class where it's easier to get finished, yeah, you have to put him in S tier. Because what, what doesn't John Jones do good with striking? But do you think he's after Connor? I mean, before Connor? No, I think he's after. I think he's right, right there. Right here? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Uh. Bro, this is so like this S tier. You can mix and match it, and I won't yeah, even complain. The, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Know, bro. It's it's weird. That... And then now we're down to our last. Amanda Nunes is S, but I think she's just last. The last uh, this one. I don't know about S. I think A. You think A? Yeah. She just has so much power, but her striking is not like true. Like it's not like as she's just know, like a brawler. It's not as flashy. And, yeah, she's like a very good brawler. She's like she's like a Poirier. Where do you want to put her? Though? Power. I think she's A tier. I don't like which one. Oh. Uh, no, actually, she might be B tier. You think so? Yeah. Bro, she, her, it's like it's, she's like a Francis. 
She'd just like, be like, knocking like, girls yeah, out. Yeah, she'd just be knocking people out, you know? But she's not doing it in no, like, flashy way. She doesn't have, like, the in, the best technique in the world. Like, like let's just say we put her A tier in front of Fiziv. She does not have better yeah, techn- <laughs> striking technique than Fiziv or, or Jan or, or Sanhagen, you know? You could argue maybe, but like, does she, have, does she have better technique than Zabit? Does she have better technique than uh, Darren Till? I mean, probably in front of Garbrandt. Do you think and, I agree? And, and, and that's being, like, I'm being realistic. And I'm I'm free to like argue whatever, but I think that's I think that's fair. Realistic. Yeah, just because she beat Valentina doesn't mean she has necessarily has better like. And and people thought Valentina won the second yeah. fight and whatever. And Valentina was never fighting at her natural weight class. So. True. So this is what we have. Let's go down from like top to bottom. Okay. Izzy's definitely Izzy one. number one. Yeah, and this list uh, from who they were able to see here, Izzy number one. Wonder Boy number two, especially after he did to Kevin Holland when they both agreed to just stand up. Yeah. And he absolutely steamed his ass up. John Jones, it's respectable. It's he, he has to be. Like he has to be. Like he, he doesn't have like a stri- the striking background that Izzy and Wonderboy had in kickboxing and, wh- and whatnot. But in MMA, we're talking about MMA striking, like he, you think we, he showed up against the best. Do you think we put Barboza here, or he's perfect here? Uh I think he's fine there. Fine. Shevchenko, the best female striker in our opinion. Max Holloway, his boxing is so good. That even without throwing all these other crazy strikes, I think he's S tier because he's landing the most significant strikes in history. Yeah. And at the end of the day, like significant strikes, he's landing the most. He's doing it the best. He's, he finished Jose Aldo twice. He uh, he lost to Dustin Poirier in a, in a stand up battle, but like he lit him up too. Uh, I mean, this is he's the only one that can give Volk a real shot, and yeah. obviously Volk's up three zero. But I think it's I think he's like. S tier, and if you want to, maybe, maybe, like, top of the tier at A, but I think S is, like, fair for him. For what he's done, I think S is fair. You think, like, right here? Yeah, you could put it there. I wouldn't be tripping. Yeah. I think, nah, bro. Fuck it. We'll just keep it like that. Okay. That S tier was actually spot on. This is perfect. Okay. Jose Aldo, definitely not. Because his one. prime was just so elite, yeah. you know? Like, that's why, like, he's top of the A tier. Yair. Yair is just so decorative. He's so, he's so good. I feel like, I'm not going to lie, I feel like Fazeev is above Dustin Poirier. I think Fazeev is above Dustin. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I mean. I, I, I really feel his like Fazeev. Stri- his MMA striking is ridiculous. That's fair. Yeah, I put with Fazeev over here. Dustin Poirier is fine right here. I I think I do that too. You think he has better boxing than, I mean, not better boxing. Just I think just striking player. overall, I think you put Pirion. I feel like these two are so close. I feel like Pirion has... Okay. Some people forget how good he, this fucker is, is, you know? Yeah. I put him right here. Okay. You like that, or you want to put him back? Uh, I mean, it's up to you. Yeah, I really don't mind. I mean, it's not too bad. These two are perfect right here. San Hagen and Dillashaw, I think, are perfect. San Hagen and Dillashaw are perfect. And B, Zabit. Zabit would be better, but we've only seen so much, you know? Yeah. Jorge, his prime was it was good, but it's not like... it's not. I don't think it's better than anybody in A tier, MMA striking. Till same thing as Jorge. Yeah. Good, but we've never seen too much of it to our back. Oh, yeah, for sure. He's above some people at A. She's like a Francis. Okay? <laughs> She's like, a Francis. Like, like, she doesn't really need all the technique in the world. She just needs, like, that pure power. She has technique, but not, like, as good as these other people. I mean, like, bro, if we, then, if we search up the highlights of her and Julianne I, Pena, that was disgusting. It was, yeah, like, it was disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> well, that yeah, was that's, what, that's what Julianne Pena was doing. That's what Julianne Pena was doing. And she was running forward, <laughs> and then she'd get cracked, and she'd fly down. Cody. Dude, he, he has good boxing. He has power, but, like, his boxing, like, it was very, very good in his prime. But I just feel like it was just better than, like, it, the list is strictly on striking. Yeah. You know? Like, these boxers, such as Poirier, Piotr Jan, uh, yeah, you're not even no, like Max. Max, those guys won championships, you know? Yeah. You know, doing it. I know Cody Garbrandt won a championship doing it. Technically, he did against Dominic Cruz. He looked unbelievable. Cody against Dominic Cruz is right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cody yeah. against Dominic Cruz is literally right here. But I, I don't know, dude. I just, I, I can't seem to put him in front of these other people. Yeah. Maybe in front of Nunes, realistically. I'm not even, I'm not even joking. That's, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> but. Man. Bro, people are gonna see this. Yeah. Nunes last. This oh is this my. is our first time. It's our first take. It's our first time doing a video. I mean, hey guys, it's so much harder than than just like off the top of my head. I can go and rank, but then when I really think about their careers and what and what they've done, I'm like, oh my, okay, then like 
Like realistically, you can make an argument for, you know, in his prime, Garbrandt being damn near S tier. You can make an argument that, you know, Whitaker only lost to Izzy at middleweight. Put him at S tier. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I think off our first try and barely revising it, I think this. Make, I, I, I respect I think that. This I like this me. one. I like this one. I think. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that tier list video. It's our first YouTube video. We're going to be making more tier lists and just more videos to come in the future. Subscribe if you want to see more, and we'll be back soon. Yes, sir.